What's going on, Wolfpack? E.T., the extraterrestrial. I remember as a little boy bawling my eyes out as I watched that little alien turn completely white and his little red beating heart stop glowing. But thankfully, he made it through and he was able to phone home. We've been mesmerized with alien life forms since the beginning of recorded time. I mean, look at these Egyptian hieroglyphics. This is from the Temple of Seti. And I don't know about you, but those look a little like spaceships to me. Um, the thing is, we have had claims of extraterrestrial encounters, and our government, the men in black, have denied them up until now. Now they have suddenly started to acknowledge the remote possibility. Now, this leads me to believe one of three things. First, as everyone has sort of suspected, they want to keep us distracted and keep us focused on literally a shining little metal object off in the sky. Number two, they have no idea what they're doing. Or number three, it's true. Or possibly it's all three. Who knows? First, there was denial. This is National Security Councilman John Kirby. He said, I don't think the American people need to worry about aliens with respect to these craft, period. Then we have his partner in crime, White House spokeswoman Corinne Jean-Pierre. And she said, there's no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. And then we wanted to make sure that the American people knew that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if someone in the government tells me not to worry, it's probably time I should. Then we have this guy, Air Force General Glenn Van Herc. He is the head of NORAD. He said, now listen to this. He said, this is the first time within the United States of America airspace that NORAD has taken kinetic action, action against an airborne object. This is the first time NORAD has taken kinetic action against an airborne object. Did you hear that? This is the first time that NORAD has shot something down. NORAD is 65 years old, folks, and they've never shot anything down except for now? That is historic in and of itself. Yet, the reality is the White House, for whatever reason, we don't know. They've withheld vast amounts of photographic radar, infrared images that the fighter jets are taking from their targeting pods, and they've hidden that from the American people. What is so secret about it? If we have nothing to worry about, and in 65 years, we haven't shot down anything, but now in eight days, we've shot down four things, what is going on? Are we under attack? If so, by who and by what? Are these things just probes from outer space? And what information are they sending back to their motherships? At a recent briefing, one reporter finally blunted out to, to uh, General Van Herc, and he says, have you ruled out aliens or extraterrestrials? The general said, I haven't ruled out anything at this point. So let's recap. What we have here is the military detecting unidentified flying objects. It's time to come clean. What is it, General? How can you not know? How can you not share with the rest of us what you do know? Let's call it what it is, folks. This is called incompetence. Any one of us could make the same conclusions our mighty government and military is making and say, well, we just don't know. Because in this case, if we say we just don't know, it's true. We just don't know. You have all the information. So show us. Tell us. It's not hard. Is it alien or is it not? If it's alien, can we defeat it? We've shown we can shoot at it and miss it, which is beyond me. How can we, with the most technologically advanced fighter, pilots, and, and flying machines, miss a freaking floating ball in the sky? And if it's not alien, where did it come from? Where did it come from? I've got a suggestion. Just look on the back of the debris, General. It probably says, made in China. That's it for today. Keep fighting the good fight and keep on prepping.